Hi, Yarnabees. How you doing today? I'm doing okay. Enough said. I'm wearing Lisa's poppy today. I don't even know how to approach that. You can't say Happy Remembrance Day or, you know, stuff like that. So I'm just going to leave that alone. Yeah. My dad was actually in World War... Actually, my dad and my uncles were in World War II. And uh, my dad used to drive a tank. Yeah. And the funny thing is, is they never talk about what happened in World War II. So, um, I don't really know the whole background of what he did. I just know he drove a tank. And uh, that's it. <laughs> One of my uncles was a photographer. He did trick photography. I have some pictures that I'll show you another time. So anyway, um, I just wanted to get on here because if I don't, I'm going to go squirrely. You know, I can only crochet so much and look at the walls and whatever. And it's so much more fun talking to you guys. I just got out of um, Dana's live. So that was fun. That was fun. You know, all the usual suspects were there. <laughs> um, well, for the most of them were. Uh, and we were talking about um, how Rosie from Nona Stitching Found yes, is having a get-together in April for the Canadian um, crocheters. I'm going. Come hell or high water, I'm going to go. I've got, what, <sighs> December, January, February, March, April. Five months to heal from my surgery. God, my hair's bugging me today. Ugh. Um, so by that time, I'm hoping I'll be in a walking cast and, uh, and I should be okay. Here's hoping. If not, it doesn't matter. I'll just grab my crutches and go. <laughs> you know, whatever. So anyway, um, what else do I want to talk? I've got a bunch of stuff on here. Oh, look what I got in eBay. I got my Swift. Hey, I said it right. It's Swift. Now I just got to figure out how to use it. Oh, hey, there we go. <laughs> not supposed to open umbrellas in the house right <laughs> so I can't wait to um, try this out this is gonna be fun except now I gave away a whole bunch of my hanks so, <laughs> so now I gotta find it find some more hanks so um, yeah so anyways I, I've got to figure that out and um, oh she's like way over there why is she way over there there we go. Whoa. See this? <laughs> yeah, I uh, <clears throat> I made that with Shimmer Lux from Loops and Threads. Ooh. There we go. And the colorway is Pink Passion. So, this is what I was talking about, Dina, um, when I was asking you if... Uh, ZZ Twist was had the shimmer like this. I don't know if you can see it very good on here. Yeah, sort of. But uh, yeah, it's it's really this. You can really feel the nylon in this. Um, so if you snag it, you know it's not that great. But when it's worked up, it seems to be fine. So I made a little shawl. So that's my, one of my, um, not whip, F-O, there we go. <laughs> Can you tell that I'm on painkillers? Yay! <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> before I got on camera, I thought, you know, I got out of the bath, I got dressed, threw my hair up as much as I could, went into the kitchen, I, I was on my phone, I was, you know, checking I, I got an email from um from rosie for the thing in april and i started reading that and i went to turn around to make a coffee 
the coffee was already there and made. Like, I just had to put my creamer in it. When did I do that? <laughs> I don't remember even making it. Like, I was just, I was stood there for a few minutes just looking at the coffee and trying to remember when I actually put the cup in the thing and put the, the Keurig cup in and couldn't remember a thing. Yeah. Kind of what my days have been like, been like, been, 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 been like <laughs> for, you know, okay. I have the shakes really bad today. Like, so. Ah, I'm gonna put hand cream on. That, ugh, it's like sandpaper. Okay, moving on. Um, before I do that, I have some new items in my description box below. My favorite things. I thought maybe you guys would be interested for those of you that are doing um, your videos and stuff like that. I put a link to the setup that I have for my camera for doing uh, ow, doing um, like tutorials and stuff like that. There's the arm. I think I showed it to you guys in another video when I got it. But there's an arm that bends and you can move it all around. Uh, and then there's a, um, a little ball that you put in there so you can turn it in whatever direction. And then there's another thing for your cell phone, which I haven't used yet because I haven't hit a thousand subscribers. So once I hit thousand subscribers and I can start doing um, stuff on my phone, then I can use it. But it's a cell phone holder that you can use. So, um, and another reason why I don't do these videos on my cell phone is because I can't figure out how to get my videos off my phone onto my computer. They don't show up. It's the weirdest thing. I, I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, um, so I put those down below, and then I put I put this this Swift. I put that in there. Uh, I put. I don't even remember. I've got a few things down there. So go check it out if you're interested. Uh, the link for the Amazon is down there. Um, what else? Oh, um, Cheryl from uh, with Yarn and Hook is finally back on her doing her videos. Um, it was so good to see her, you know, and I mean, she's still a wreck. She's, I mean, she, with the whole losing her mom and everything, she's going to be, she's going to be hurting for a long time, a long time. And we just got to be really supportive and uh, give her lots of love. Um, but, oh, she looked good. Wow. Like she, I guess she said that she lost 10 pounds while this was all going on. No doubt. Um, but man, she looked good. Like I couldn't believe it when she was on, when I propped up her video, I was like, whoa, what a change. You know, and I guess a lot of people have been saying that to her and she's going, I don't see a change. Well, honey, you look at yourself every day. Yeah. You know? So, um, you're probably not going to see a major change, but we see it and you look fantastic. So anyway, um, the, oh, that new loops and threads colors yarn. I can't find it anywhere, anywhere. I went on the um, Loops and Threads site, sent you to Yarn Inspirations or something, and it's all sold out, all of it, every color. I can't find it in Michaels. I can't. We don't get it in Canada. I don't think. Um, I, I am choked because I want that yarn. Uh, it looks so nice, and it's something that I can actually work with. I think. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, that really choked me. I thought, you know, why have a yarn out when, you know, you're just going to have it sold out the whole time, you know, get with it, stock up, you know, like, geez. Anyway. Um, okay. The other thing, 
zaxed out. What the hell? He had an emergency appendectomy. Like, just poof. Like, holy cow, that's scary, right? Um, I haven't had my appendix out, but I've heard that, you know, they can burst and, you know, bad things happen. But, oh, honey. I mean, I don't think Zach even knows I exist. <laughs> so, but I'm going to say it anyways. Take care of yourself, you know, like that's, that's a bit of a surgery, you know, and, um, and we all love you and feel for you and we're all here for you. Okay. So anyway, yeah, it seems to me like there's a lot of stuff going on and, uh, who was talking about that? Was it Rosalie? I think it was Rosalie from Yarn It Out was talking about how so many of us are having issues like medical issues and life issues and it just seems like it's all over our community oh and it's so sad like I just mm, I feel for everybody of course you know empath ha, hello you know so um it's just and with Christmas coming and oh why does it always happen around the holidays sucks oh here's a story for you well, I was in emergency and the ambulance was taking me out and taking me to emergency. I got a text message. My sister was in emergency as well in Duncan. She thought she was having a heart attack. <sighs> I was like, what, what do I do? Right? <laughs> you know, so uh, luckily she wasn't. It was apparently a weird virus that's going around. And, uh, you know, it's giving the similar symptoms to heart attack. Like, and it's just, it's not a good virus. She's been coughing for three months. Um, she's, like, her, like, she's got heart problems anyway. Right? And she's supposed to be going for surgery, but she's too scared to do it. But um, every once in a while she has to get her heart shocked to get it back on a, a natural rhythm and uh, they want to go in there and fix that right so so anytime she has like the sweats the heart palpitations the you know all that kind of stuff feeling faint and all that she panics and she goes oh my god I'm having a heart attack so she went in there and they said no nope, you're fine um, but you do have a virus so that's a little scary all right so anyway uh but she's okay she's okay um yeah it's a weird one so but anywho onward and upward upward and onward oh whatever um i i didn't bring it in here oh great uh, anyway um i can't get up and get it now darn it okay um dina uh was for the mm. let's try that again dina from homespun fun um she was talking about doing a sweater from this yarn that i had showed a few videos back that is um, ice yarn. It's called Bunny Soft. Uh, it's sitting right over there too. <laughs> and I can't get up to get it. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I she was having a really hard time with it. And she made ha like half of the sweater. But the problem is, is because it's got the, the eyelashy kind of fuzzy yarn to it. It's really hard to frog. And she was really frustrated with it and she decided she's not gonna finish the sweater and I was just crying I was going oh no like it's gonna be a beautiful sweater and you're so close to being finished with it and I was just like oh I was just wanting to scream at the at the camera or, <laughs> or at the my phone and I was going no keep going keep going <laughs> but um, I mean I understand the frustration because it is a bit difficult to work with. 
um, it's like if you make a mistake. If you make a mistake and have to frog it, yeah, if, you, if you're not sure how to frog this stuff, it can knot up and it could just be a nightmare. I decided to go and use it and make a hat and cowl set, right? Um, so, oh, so here's the cowl. So this is the Bag O'Day uh, wide neck cowl. And you see the fuzziness there? Yeah. That's what makes it difficult to frog. <clears throat> so I made that and then I made the hat to go with it. This is my own pattern. Okay. Um, what I found is when you, when you have to frog it, if you pull one side and pull the other and just kind of go back and forth like this, it will let loose. It's a bit fiddly but um, I had to frog a whole row of <clears throat> the um, shawl or the um, the cowl and I was like uh oh and I just worked it and I just kept doing this and pulling and you know doing just really lightly and it just went duh, 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 and it started to come out so it can be worked with it just takes patience real patience so, but I just love it. It's so soft and, um, you know, it's, yeah. When you have any yarn that has a halo like that, it's, it's going to be a bit tricky. But I was quite happy with the way it turned out. And then I used the Shimmer Luxe, but in um, a creamy white. And I did another hat. Did I show this to you already? I showed this to you already, didn't I? Yeah. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to, um, I'm going to do a cowl to go with it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and make it a set. I really like this pattern. It's, uh, it's really nice. So, yeah. I think that's, everything uh yeah i'm gonna gonna have to do some stuff well now that my back's all messed up it's gonna be interesting but i have to get george to <clears throat> george insisted oh i talked to him yesterday last night and i says you know i don't think the kids are coming for christmas so I don't think we should put up a Christmas tree and with my back the way it is and blah, 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 blah. and he says well why why can't we have Christmas <clears throat> why can't we enjoy Christmas I'm like um are you gonna put the tree up <laughs> are you gonna decorate the tree you know so um I guess we're putting up the Christmas tree uh, but that's, it's okay, I guess, because I like to have the tree where I can put presents underneath, but I'm just, I'm so, uh, humbuggish, like, uh, Grinchish, kind of, about this whole thing right now, um, because I can't do any Christmas shopping, uh, I'm going to try and do as much as I can when um, I'm doing the craft fairs and then maybe I can, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe I can find stuff at the craft fairs and, uh, and all that. Um, but there's no way I can go through the mall and, you know, who knows, maybe, but I definitely would have to have somebody with me. Um, so yeah there's that anyway i'm rambling now so i'm gonna go i just wanted to show you all this stuff here you know i'm making things just slow and sure and you know um not really rushing myself i'm just you know because i with these craft fairs it is what it is now 
right? I usually I'm rush, 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 and I have to make as much as I can to get ready for the craft fair and everything. With all this happening, I'm just like, pfft, whatever. I'm at 23 minutes now, so I'm going to get going. And uh, I'm going to go and relax. And I will talk to you guys all, hopefully tomorrow. Okay? Love you all. Bye. Bye.